Welcome back everyone for the next part of Library of Ruina. In the last part, a lot happened. Philip became a bunch of children. Roland died during the last child fight and we actually managed to use our first ever page today. <laughs> Only took me a while to figure out. I kind of had to read uh, a comment for that since the game didn't really tell me how to use it. But it's fine. It's fine. This was the perfect moment. It was the perfect moment to use an ego. We had to teach the last child a lesson. And then he ran away. Again. I can't believe it that Philip managed to run away. Wait, how many times? Salvato once, Oscar twice, now again. That's the third time he was able to run away from us. This is crazy. He never learns. He never learns. No matter how many times he shows up, he shows up. He's always gonna die. He could just stay away if he can't beat us. Or at the very least, let us book him so that we can place him next to his friends. I mean, he wants that. Seems like he was uh, kind of interested in the girl, at least, even though... I didn't really understand the whole story when it was uh, distorting. They started talking about Salvato's family and such. It doesn't really... It isn't really important to the whole conversation that Yuna was having, but... Eh, oh well, right? Oh well, right? <laughs> We're probably going to discuss this in the comments again and... Yeah, I'm gonna get my ads over there. Anyways, most importantly, we became a star! And now... Bina is here! <laughs> the floor of, uh, of philosophy! Mm -hmm. Its patron librarian is called Bina. Oh god. <laughs> the air here gives off a certain smell in a different way than Chesset's place. She has a teacup! She has a teacup! <laughs> it is the scent of black tea. It's a nice scent. I gotta say, stands out from the coffee. It is indeed. Although I'm quite certain that the blue haired noble below still has not grown enough to appreciate a good cup of black tea. This place feels overbearing, unlike the other floors. Kind of fitting with philosophy, I guess. Too confusing to understand, and has a heavy feel to it. It is gorgeous. She has stars on the ceiling as light sources. This is perfect for our current rank. Oh, Vina. <laughs> oh, God, I'm way too hyped for her. I'm way too hyped for her. After the, after the last encounter with her, which literally crushed my whole facility. <laughs> it was so epic. She's so strong. Can't wait to use her for myself. <laughs> what is this library like from what, uh, uh, yeah. What is the library like from what you've seen? library I've seen? Is it a place of dead, nurturing its thirst with blood? Is it a spire of knowledge, accumulating all sorts of information? Or is it perhaps an ark, saving for a new life? Uh, the library I've seen was like an arena, maybe? Angela, the librarians and the others are all fighting to earn what they want. So it's really fierce and bloody, all in all. Ah, that is the library from your point of view. I see. What kind of place is the library to you then? Well, for me, I guess it's just a jail. I mean, you can't leave, right? That does not appear to be true. You are in fact looking to seize an opportunity. Opportunity? Wait, da, of course I'm looking to get out of here. If that is what you want to say. And who are you, really? You talk like you know everything. I am Bina. No, that's not what I... Ugh, your aura is not all, at all like any library uh, librarians I've met so far. Then you must be wondering what kind of being I used to be in my first life. Yeah, what the hell were you? I was an arbiter of the heads. What? It has not been long since I was awoken from my slumber. I must call my mind with the help of tea, so come again at a later time. And remember to bring books to me. Wait! Well, that's a short uh, 
discussion, I could have maybe I could have uh, left it in the other pot, maybe. <laughs> but there was no way to tell, right? There was no way to tell. Which he already has. No, wait, it's it's yellow. Hello? He jumped straight into another cutscene. I didn't even get the acceptance thing. Okay, that's good. Gabor and Hot are here, though. Um, I must wonder how you two perceive me now that your memories have returned in whole. What? That kind of stuff doesn't matter to me anymore. You're much more self-possessed than I expected. I can't say I'm not at all uncomfortable, but we're basically in the same oven now. What? Are you worried? Come on, Hot. Have some confidence. You look even smaller than usual. She's not the person you remember in your past, at least not anymore. I can't guarantee what happened in the future uh, what happens in the future, but she won't be harming us for a good while. I'm right. Sorry, Gabora. Fascinating. As much as it would be amusing to make a jest of her pitiful state. Gabora is speaking the truth. I'm no longer the being you interacted with in the past. When it seems to have ended, a new breath of light is gif uh, life is given. Of course, I'm not entirely separated from my past self either. I have become someone who cannot do any harm to you, yet I can still see fear in your eyes. What is it that you are so afraid of, child? I'm in the same circumstances as yours now. I was just nervous. Since this is our first time sitting face to face and talking to each other, fret not. I have called you two for a simple reason. To have tea together. I suggest you drink it before it gets cold. It is best to enjoy when the scent is warm and able to be savoured. Wait, you just invite him for tea? Just for tea? <laughs> really? <laughs> the tea is clear. It tastes a bit sweet, though. I added lemon juice and honey to the black tea. I prepared it specifically for you. For her? It didn't smell like honey at all. I thought you put sugar. It is because the scent of the honey was lost as it came into contact with the tea. Too much sugar can make the tea feel muddy. Though I suppose it is a matter of preference. Okay. It's sure is sweet, so I guess it's not bad. Did you know? Black tea has several names across various regions. Oh, I think I heard about that. Some call it black tea, based on the color of the leaves. And some call it red tea, since the color of the tea is red. I guess it's the difference between valuing the essence and the result? Perhaps I could view it that way. So let me ask you how you how you would like to refer to this tea. Uh, well, that's a tough question. What's the big deal anyways? Just call it whatever name you're more used to. If that is what you say. It is rather entertaining to converse with you. Come again later when you long for the scent of tea. Okay, I have no idea what Tabina is up to. <laughs> I, I don't quite understand what she... What do you want with Pina? <laughs> Did you want to befriend them? Do you want to see what happens to them? Actually speaking, what is this? Why, why are the three uh, exclamation marks suddenly? <laughs> okay, Pina! Well, you became more mysterious from the first game. I can already say that, right? Now I have to prepare three new guys for Pina's floor, but I guess we can do that later. After all, that usually uh, takes a while. I do have a few guys that I want to put in there, so that makes it a bit easier. Wait a second, what is this? Vina? No! No! <laughs> Vina! Don't do this to me! No! No! I can't click! I can't click her! She's locked! She's locked! Why are you locked? Oh! <laughs> Vina, are you refusing to fight right now? Are you actually refusing to fight? Wait a second, I have to test it out. Let's pick something easy, something quick, something nobody would die to. Rats. That can't be true, right? Pina, come on! Come on! <laughs> she's literally not- she, she is not- she's just- 
she's here, but she, she's not. <laughs> oh, I was hurt for nothing. She's just showing for tea. She, she didn't really want to def defiance. I can't even change her clothes. I can't even give her badges. I can't do anything with her. <laughs> Hi, game. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you giving me... <laughs> giving me Bina to take away from me? You can't just do that. I'm going to do the same with Hawkman as well. I mean, here's the last one that's missing, right? Oh, man. Man. Screw this. Shesset, come on. Abnormalities. We have to work on your abnormalities. The Scarecrow searching for wisdom. Okay, let's do this. And depending how it goes, I mean, we did get two invitations done. Maybe he's gonna get two abnormalities today? Huh? Maybe? <laughs> okay, first and foremost. <clears throat> Too bad I didn't know Banner. So many poor employees died to its wreck. It might have been nice if it could accept it itself as it is. You're telling me, friend? Surely, wisdom can't be everything in life. That's true. Wisdom can't be everything. Wisdom can actually lead to loneliness as well. Wisdom. Give me the wisdom I lack. The wisdom that you don't need wisdom, huh? My head is all empty. It is just the only pie of something something. My head is all empty. It's just a dolly pile of hay. It's just repeat the same phrase again. I want to be smart, like the others. I I wonder how it feels to be wise, to know everything. You know everything? It could become boring though. I wonder how it feels to be wise, to know Okay, I, I don't I don't Is it just repeating the same phrase twice? He is repeating a couple of them twice, and then sometimes he swaps to the next one. This is a bit weird, Scarecrow. This is a bit weird. That's something the others don't really do. They they repeat the same pattern over and over again with their text and all kinds of uh, directions. But they never repeat the same line twice in random. Anyways, Scarecrow searching for wisdom. Gleaning. Every free scene gains an additional speed die and use the page Harvest Wisdom, which absorbs the target's combat page and recovers the use of HP on hit. If the target has no combat page left to absorb, deal 520 damage instead. Oh, that's bad. So I always want to have combat pages at hand. Is that it? Tranquility of the wise. If harvest wisdom clash against wisdom, the additional da uh, uh, yeah. the, the abnormality takes 20 stagger damage at the end of the engagement and gains 3 feeble and bind next scene. Wisdom? Probable endeavor. After absorbing a page that isn't wisdom with harvest wisdom, gain strength and endurance equal to the number of pages absorbed and use one of the absorbed pages. So you can absorb my pages and use them to power yourself up. Interesting. Almost like the drain effect that we had in the other game. Straw for brains. Yeah, that one. <laughs> At the start of the scene, all librarians who own no pages come staggered. So if I don't have any cards in hand, they're gonna stagger me. Oh, great! Wait, is everyone the same? Yeah, I think everyone's the same, right? You're not like Pinocchio with different names and different attitudes. Nah, it doesn't really seem like it. Okay. Oh god, is that a lot of text? What? <laughs> what? Harvest wisdom. All dice gain plus four power if not clashed against wisdom. After clashing against wisdom, become weak next scene. Absorb a page. From target's hand, prioritize wisdom, recovers 510 health. Absorb a page from target's hand, prioritize wisdom. Uh, okay. All dice is gained plus 5 power, that means it's 555, five, five, right? Right? And he is going to hit me at least once because uh, it's a 4 4 attack. for wisdom. 
Lock evade. Add a copy of wisdom on opponent's hand. I have to block that in order to get wisdom. What is up with this fight? <laughs> Wait. But that's good. I, I have a couple of cards. That, ah, I have wisdom. I have wisdom. So that means I'm supposed to use this wisdom against him, right? One wisdom here. One wisdom there. And that should do the trick for him, right? I guess. This page is exhausted on use. That seems like it. And in order to gain more wisdom, I need to block a bait that dies. But he starts with an avoid dies, which means I need one on the second slot, which is something like uh, a deep drag. Which means instead of this, great, we are going to use this. Yuki. You are going to try to get more wisdom out of that uh, scarecrow. Well, uh, Shesset is going to distract the other one. Maybe with the other dice instead, since we kind of need the speed. Not to clash with the other, who is actually trying to do exactly the, strain, uh, the same. Struggle for wisdom, I see. I see. You're totally going to get a hit from me. Let's go for energy recycle. Maybe I can get some charges. Actually speaking, I'm totally going to get some charges since we are about to use dimensional cut, and that's going to be enough to distract them. And this one is wrong. Deep track has to be on the second slot. Which means I can still go for traces of fume later. Okay, never mind. We're going to go for a smoking pipe in order to regain a little bit of our light. And maybe a bit smoke. Yeah, the smoke is going to be helpful. You got to avoid? Well, at least I got some wisdom. <laughs> but it seems like those guys are kind of fast as well, huh? Did that work? Yeah, seemed like it worked. And he gained a speed die. So he's trying to go for wisdom now. Okay. Okay, I think, I think I'm understanding what I'm supposed to do. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. So they are always swapping around to search for wisdom. And it seems like it's possible to intercept them as well. That's good. That's, that's really good. Okay, if that's the case, you are still going to go for inhaled smoke though, simply because uh, we need the, the stats. And of course, a leap. We need to get the cards. We need to draw pages around here. He is going to steal a page. Oh, is he? No, wait. Now, only that guy can steal, right? Absorb a page from the target's hand. Prioritize wisdom. Cover, da, 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 yes. Okay. Slight problematic since uh, I can only gain like one wisdom. But uh, better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. Come on, Yuki. Get all the heals. She's literally getting all of the heals. Oh no. You can stagger him. I need the wisdom. I need the wisdom! <laughs> Can't just... Ah, oh, shoot! Screw it! Screw it! I guess we're about to kill him! We're about to kill him! We're about to kill both of them! <laughs> uh, but first and foremost... Do I have more wisdom? Yes, I have one more wisdom. I'm gonna give you one wisdom. That's literally all that I have. I hope you're going to make good use of that. He is going to steal one card from you, but it's fine. You still have four copies, so that's good. Maybe, maybe I can get rid of two of those scarecrows and uh, don't worry about them at all. Preferably, that would be the most preferred outcome out of all of them. 
Doesn't really seem like it though. Oh wait, I did get rid of one of them. And he's healing. Okay. I mean, if, if only one of them is healing. It's doable, right? Yes! Yes! Give me smoke! Give me smoke! Screw <laughs> that! I take that! That's, that's good! Uh, might need to worry a bit about the fact that I can't use this page. But hey, I can use uh, overcharge, right? Yeah, overcharge is only going to be enough to beat that guy. I can use Trace of Fumes to lower state, uh, stats while also regaining my light on Yuki. I don't really care if you give uh, my chest some smoke. I mean, <laughs> he loves the smoke. <laughs> he really loves the smoke. You can give him as much smoke as you want to. He takes it like a champ. Oh shoot, I think I redirected that hit. I mean, not that it makes a difference. Neither of them care about smoke. You have to tank the hit. You have to tank the hit. I'm sorry, but you have to tank the hit. There, I'm gonna I'm gonna recover the light in UK, but you have to take the hit. I I can't intercept. My character currently can't do anything. The overwork, you know? The overwork is just too strong. <laughs> the overwork is too strong. Draw the heck. Yes, she's literally the cards literally tying my hands. Oh no. <laughs> Did I get wisdom? No, I didn't get wisdom because why should I? <laughs> it's gonna steal a card from me though. But Chessa doesn't have any cards left. Nah, sorry Chessa. I guess I have to take this one. I kind of have to take this one for the team. I have to tank it for the team. Otherwise, everyone is getting staggered around. <laughs> Come on, Yuki. Do a lot of damage. Do a lot of damage. There we go! Okay, I regained my cards. Everything is fine. I regained my cards. Here, I have a flesh fillet, I guess. You know what? We're going to leave it at that. Shazard, get him! There we go! Power of smoke! <laughs> power of smoke. And not having anything to gain wisdom. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Why, why do I need block cards for this? What do you, what do you mean block cards? <laughs> right? It doesn't make sense. Nobody asked for block cards before. <laughs> I mean, I still use them from time to time since they're really handy, but I never had a requirement to have block cards in the first or last slot before. <laughs> hey, Shesset. Care to open the door for me? My hands are kind of full right now. Oh, welcome. Here, let me help you. You, I can't believe I actually carry that many books all the way here. Guess I've got this uh, servant business down to this, to a science, huh? Well, you're natural, getting used to anything in time after all. The same goes for drinking coffee. Hmm, coffee, huh? The one, sh uh, this one should fit your taste better than the last one, I think. All right, I'll trust you this time. Oh, this one is sweet. And like, really tasty overall. How should I put it? Yeah, I've never had such a classy and dainty coffee before. <laughs> Isn't it? Kibura also started out with this mach uh, machato, you see? So this is what a delicious coffee tastes like. I'm over 30 years old and I'm still learning new things. I heard they mostly serve coffee with a strong taste of sweetness in the back streets to cover up the low quality ingredients. Ah, some are just plain bitter. I used to drink it when I needed to stay awake or simply kill some time. Well, I did too. In Lobotomy Corp, I always started each day with some coffee. A warm cup. That was the only thing that would heat up my lethargic body. This is a lukewarm tea. A uh, coffee, I mean. <laughs> I kept forcing myself to work, holding zero expectations. Must have been pretty tiring. It sure was. And Louise was slaughtered by abnormalities all the time, and my place to keep them alive never came to re- uh, rather, my plans to keep them alive never came to fruition. 
The coffee slowly cooled down along with my passion. How about now though? Did it warm over? I guess you can say that. This time, it's steaming hot again, like you said it, Roland. <laughs> I can try a lot of things with everything that's been given to me. Most of all, I can drink various blends of coffee now. Though you still have to follow someone else's order, right? I made the decision to follow her this time around. And I can actually minimize the damage my fellow librarians have to suffer if I work hard at it. And actually go into a fight with a clan. <laughs> so all in all, I'm feeling motivated, you see? I've got quite a flexible mindset, huh? Everything is better than before. Maybe this is mercy to some uh, of some kind. For who? Our Miss Library Library Director? <laughs> it's hard for me to believe, of course, but I sometimes think she might have done this for us. I'm not so sure about that. Angela's goal and where her anger comes from seem pretty clear to me at this point. I don't think there's any mercy in that path she's trying to take. <laughs> it's my is sure is tasty. It's almost addicting. <laughs> I will introduce you to the other types of coffee from time to time. Let's get to know each other a little better. Fine by me. I look forward to it. Who knows? Maybe at one point, it's becoming a, a coffee expert like him. <laughs> right? You just need to enjoy multiple versions of it, and then you want to try even more and more. Just, just stay away from a certain type of coffee, co uh, Roland. Like seriously, I I heard some of them involve uh, elephants. Right? <coughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go deeper in that. It's just involving elephants. Anyways, Torn of Wisdom. When he returns, he had a visible long scar on his head. People asked him how he felt, and he responded that his head felt lighter. Whenever the library, a librarian uses a combat page, discard a friend page from hand and restore one life. Oh, really? <laughs> that could work with the discard deck again. That could work wonders with the discard deck. Gleaning. It shows aggression towards certain employees, attempting to take their brain. These employees are those who score excellent on the intelligent test. After attacking an enemy with a higher amount of stagger resistance, they have 2 for bonus stagger damage and recover 2 5 stagger resistance. Oh, this is a stagger recovery card. As long as they have higher stagger than me, I can recover from them. Like the brain eater that he is. Interesting. And then of course we also have the wreck. The wreck hits the human brain instead of farmland. How many of the wisest people among us have lost their life to this wreck? After staggering an enemy, copy two pages owned by the enemy and add them to the librarian's hand with less with two less cost. The copied pages are exhausted on use. Are you telling me I can steal pages from my enemies? And only copy melee pages when equipping a melee only key page, and vice versa. No effect against characters for sure. Ah, ah, I was about to say. <laughs> Imagine if I could steal the laser from that angel. Huh? Imagine if I could do that. That would be so precious. <laughs> and yes, it seems like I was right. I was right. By doing two invitations right after each other, I have a chance to unlock two abnormalities for Chancellor. That's good! Do I need to change anything? Probably not. Hopefully not. <laughs> the warm... Woodsman? Warm-hearted Woodsman? Well, good to see you again, huh? Oh god, he comes with the heart thingy again. Ugh. Ugh. Good that Maxwell isn't around here, right? Last time I interacted with him, he tried to give her that gift. And I didn't like it. I mean, it was good. It was good. It had good stats, but I didn't like the look of that. <laughs> hey, by the way, I remember you're being pretty warm-hearted person. Yeah, I guess it still craves a warm heart to fill that void, right? Fellow's <laughs> chest is still hollow, I see. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of tough to fi uh, keep that filled, especially without any police around here, right? <laughs> and I was extremely careful with that guy as well. 
it's just uh, he literally killed him instantly, right? We don't really want to interact with him that much. Okay. The Woodsman. Dense forest. If the character has warm heart at the start of the scene, all labarians uh, restore light to max. Still not enough. Each scene, target the character with the most light. I want a heart. When attacking, all dice gain power equal to the amount of light to target. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. You give me light, right? You give me light. I see. Pulsing ticker? Upon defeating another character, recover 20% of HP and gain 3 stack of warm heart. Empty chest. If the character has no warm heart at the start of the scene, it becomes stagger. Which means, technically speaking, you don't have a warm heart, so that means you should instantly get staggered, right? <laughs> guess not. I guess not. If the character clashes against this page, it becomes staggered. Kill them instantly. Yeah, of course you have the instant kill move. And that's literally the only thing that you can do right now. Help me. 36 defense. Everything is defending right now. The trees are alive. That guy is trying to search in the heart. This looks kind of messed up. Don't you think, Woodman? Don't you think that's messed up? I think this is messed up. I clutched my empty chest and grieved because it is empty. <laughs> I require an object to fill the empty void. And that object can only be a heart, a, va a warm heart. I clutched uh, something something. Is he only repeating two lines? I require an object to fill the empty void. What? There. That woman said machines are built to serve humans, so hearts not needed. I clutched my empty chest. That woman? Didn't the wizard tell you that? I do not want to feel this empty and lonely feeling anymore. But the heart isn't going to need to improve that woodsman, it's just going to make it worse once you lose it again. Since uh, your body doesn't really support it, right? Your body doesn't support this fleshy heart. Sooner or later, it's about... It's its literally going to die. It is going to die. Max roll value of all dice is raised by... What? That's zero? Okay. And... I don't quite get what I'm supposed to do here, but I guess I'm just gonna attack the woodsman then, huh? I mean, 5-5 five, five isn't really that bad. It isn't really bad that, uh, that bad. I can just go for some Trace of Fume. Let's maybe avoid using our recovery pages for a while. Yeah, we should be a bit careful about that. Seems like he cares a lot about that, so uh, maybe I should leave the recovery, the life recovery to him. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Life recovery. Life recovery is something that he wants to do after all. But I still need to charge in case I need to in case I need to draw pages. Okay, we're just going to we're just going to just focus him down. Pretty much. He doesn't really do anything, right? He's just guarding. Everyone is just guarding. He's not even trying to take the trees. But scream help me. And they, he only calls them when they uh, when their HP reach zero, so I guess they're gonna be fine, right? There we go. Or three defenses. Seems like our light is also increasing uh, his defense dices. From the looks of it. Can't really tell. I barely do any damage though. That's not good. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Am I supposed to do something with the tree step? Max value plus tree. Plus the passive of light. On Clash Loose, loses one warm heart next scene. 
game one warm heart. Don't take my heart. Warm pulse. Okay. I guess maybe we're supposed to get rid of those hearts. Yeah, we probably we probably have to get rid of those hearts. Maybe we can prevent him from uh, regaining a, a heart. I mean, it would be the best outcome. I should be able to inflict him with some ailments, though. <clears throat> and the hearts and the trees are still not doing anything. That's good. That's good. That's exactly what we need. Ah, oh, shoot, I knew it. I knew it. It's quite difficult to get around that. But at least, at least we have the paralysis stacks and the smoke will actually apply by quite a lot. <laughs> Wait, can I steal this card? I need him to stagger for that, though. And that will allow us to recover more life. I don't really want that right now. Not against him. But this could be helpful. I could drain more stagger resistance from him. Okay. Uh, let's go for that. Chess it. Be ready for it. There's a lot to drain. He literally... Yeah, I, I don't have light issues. He's literally recovering all my light. I can't really get rid of his former heart phase, but... At the very least, I don't have to worry about my my life. Whoa! On Clash Loose, last die loses two power. On Clash Loose, last die is two power. Okay. Ah. Uh, deep drag. I guess. Maybe. <laughs> this is a bit of a tall order. I kind of have to go for it. It's the only one who can technically go for four attacks. Oh, we can't even intercept this. It is going to get through. No, never mind. We're just going to tank the damage then. Come on. Oh, I only managed to tank one. <laughs> I only managed to tank one. It's fine, Yuki. It's fine. You did a good job. You did a good job. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. We're good. We're about to get him staggered. He is already down to 50%. Okay. Paralysis is actually kind of helpful. And he already lost 50%. So maybe... Maybe we don't really have to worry about it that much. Maybe I'm, I'm just overthinking this. There's a chance I'm just overthinking this whole, whole thing, right? Let's go for Flesh Filet. We'll also leaping four more cards. Redirected back to me. There we go. And I'm gonna leave uh, right. I'm gonna save Lost Sense for the next round. Yeah, there we go. Deep track. Powerful as ever. Powerful as ever. <laughs> ah, shoot. Come on, overcharge. Don't be a waste. Don't be a waste, overcharge. Let's go for the wreck, I guess. We can steal some cards in a second, I guess. Is he literally not doing anything else in this? What's, what is with the trees? Didn't you want to do something with the trees? I guess not. I don't mind. I don't really mind if you clash against the drag that way. I'm gonna get an easy hit for the inhaled smoke thing, right? Yeah, let's do it like this. <laughs> Working like a charm, right? Working like a charm. There we go. Already down to 52. Actually, now it's now he's just freezing it himself. Makes a bleed stack. <laughs> okay. This is literally your last chance to do anything else. Woodsman. Come on. This is literally your last chance. I'm telling you, you're about to die. You're literally about to die. Nobody is here to save you from this. You're literally about to die. Woodsman, please. Get it together. <laughs> huh? The trees are trying to help. At least they scream for help. 
Never mind! Okay! Why was that one so easy? <laughs> huh? Why? Why? It's... Okay, I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. I mean, not all abnormalities have to be tough, right? Not all of them have to be tough, even if this one is literally, uh... Shes it appeared after Gabor, right? Huh. Either way, um, this place is filled with the scent of coffee as always. Welcome. Today's blend is Ingidum Mountain. Wanna have a try? Never heard of that one before, but sure. The taste of coffee aren't all the same. It's determined by the numbers of, fa uh, numbers of factors. Starting with where it has grown, how long it was roasted, when you stop extracting the flavor, and how finely the coffee beans are grounded, also play a very important role. The acidity and sweetness depend on the size of the particles. Oh, it's pretty... It's a pretty delicate drink then, huh? I just drank whatever they gave me. Wouldn't you say that it resembles the density of the city in a way? A person's identity and value can vastly can vastly differ based on where they were born and raised, whether it was the back street or the next, and what district of the back street it was. Along with how rough their background was as they grew up. In the streets of music, you may grow into a loser if you can't s strike a single chord. In the streets of food and flavor, you might end up being an ingredient. It all depends on the rules of the plantation. And that makes sense. Wait a second. So you're saying each person has a different flavor? Of course! There, wasn't, there wouldn't be a street of flavors if every person would taste the same. I mean, even Pierre mentioned that depending on the age, I mean... It's a given, right? Let's not go into the details of that. <laughs> that is something a District 23 resident would say. You haven't been bringing coffee out of guests, now have you? <laughs> Not much of a romanticist, are you, huh? I'll take that as a joke. I was half shocking, alright? <laughs> Were you? Weren't you just worried right now? <laughs> Though you never know, anything could happen around here. True. Okay. Just making coffee! <laughs> the technique of mixing coffee is different. Uh, Coffee of a different origin into a single cup is called blending. Through blending, even a low quality coffee can be given a nice flavor. Sociology, sociology is also like blending when you look at it. It's the study of managing the society, where all kinds of people are blended together. I guess that works, right? See? And when you blend coffee, you pick out the beans you want and filter away the unwanted ones. Unlike coffee beans though, people have their own desires too, so they try to enter the blending machine they want. They would rather go to a more luxurious world in other words. Even though they are ground into powder all the same. The city in the nest keep whispering to the people, all to get the good beans to come over. They want supplements to delicately supplement the grandest and the most unique flavors. This is where you can find the true value of life. They make a parade of the nest dwellers, prosperity and comfort right next to the miserable scene of losers who were filtered away. That is how everyone is deciding into selling themselves. Even if it is a facade, it is true that life in the nest is smile better than the life in the back streets, right? Oh. Is it really? The wings are constantly grinding people up, almost akin to coffee beans in the coffee factory. No? Every wing paints its nest as the most comforting place in the world in an attempt to recruit feathers for itself. A different set of rules are enforced in every nest, and the back streets distort according to those policies. Everyone is soaking in the greatest and the sweetest lie. They convince themselves that what they are doing is for the best. Wait, convince himself? There's nothing to convince. It is for the best. There's literally no better option than to leave the back streets, join a wing, and spend a stable life in the nest. But uh, didn't Hot mention that even if you live in the nest, you're in constant fear of dropping, dropping back into the back streets? I don't know if that life is so comfortable. 
then who gets to decide how to blend people? No, it is even necessary in the first place. Do we really need to pick out certain people? Can't we just live as we are? As our own flavors? You talk like it is so simple. Questions like that won't get you to end anything other than more questions. Is that so? Is that so? Ah, thanks for the coffee. I'll be going now. <laughs> I guess Chester doesn't really uh, share your opinion, Roland. He doesn't. He has his own mindset. That's very important around here. <laughs> but he has a point. Who gets to decide how to blend the people, right? Why can't we just all live in, a, in our own flavor? In our own time? Why do we have to worry about others all the time in the city, huh? Hmm? In our positions? Anyways, uh, a warm heart. In anger, he swung his axe through the wizard's heart. The warm heart was pulsing vigorously. At the start of the scene, boost the power of the uh, offensive dice by 1-2 for the scene, as the librarian has 3 or more lights. Oh, that's good. That means as long as I keep up with my light recovery, I always get a boost. <laughs> there will never be enough hearts. Once a woodsman, he now fets people instead of trees. After dealing 15 or more damage to an enemy in a single scene, reduce the cost of the two most expensive cards in hand by one. On kill, reduce the cost to zero instead. Oh. oh that, that sounds very good. Like, really good. The cost reduces reset when the page are used. But, I can do that again, right? In a single scene. I can do that again and reduce more of them. This is good. This is very good. And then we also have Timber. This is a forest full of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dead. A uh, dense. When attacking a target that has more light than the librarian, a uh, library, offensive die gains power equal to the amount of light the target has up to two. This is another one of those attack boosts. Not as strong as this one, but technically speaking, if you fight against a boss who literally never uses up his light recovery thanks to the shimmering effect, this, uh, this card is going to be always active, right? Always active. And they always have more emotion levels and light recovery, right? That's good! Woodsman, you might have been weak. I might have not been able to understand you fully. But <laughs> your key cards are kind of helpful, so I really appreciate that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me just quickly see how much time I have left. None whatsoever, since it uh, seems like I can only fit in two abnormalities per part. Huh? Yeah, can't really do anything else than that. Okay, I would say this is a perfect moment to make a little cut. In the next part, we are probably going to take care of Tiferet's abnormality and Netsex's abnormality. I hope you guys had fun with today's part, and see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!